morning, Ms. Dan. Good morning. I'm one from uh, School of Pharmacy of USM, and I'm currently doing the elective posting here. Uh -huh. So I'm just wondering, what this book is for? Oh, this is for subsystem. Later, we'll send this box to the world for the storage. Flowstock? Yes, Flowstock system is the system where we used to supply the medication for the world during outside office health. It can only be supplied the medication which is commonly used in that particular ward and only for emergency medication. The pharmacy and ward must take an agreement on medication list and this medication will be supplied based on the list. This flow stock medication list must be recorded and reviewed periodically to avoid overstocking or misuse of medication. Look at this box. But why we need to use this system? Isn't that we have supply to the work with the unique dose trolley? Well, good thing about this system is that it allowed the nurse to access the medication even during outside of his cell. Imagine in a ward, a patient was diagnosed to have high fever and the doctor has prescribed paracetamol 500 mg to the patient. Then, the nurse can easily take the prescribed medication from the floor stock box and she can administer it to the patient without any delay. Well, that sounds good, but if that's so, anyone can easily take out the medicine from this box. Yes, that's the disadvantage of this system. There will be high risk of pill virage and medication error since there will be limited review of medication order by pharmacies. That's why the pharmacies must monitor the record of medication use. Well, the role of pharmacies is still needed, and it is important for us to understand that not all drugs will be supplied to this box, and not all the drugs can be used to be put into this box. Okay? Okay. Thank you, Ms. Welcome. <laughs>